Hi guys, it's Morgan from The Beauty Breakdown and today I'm gonna share with you guys how I do my base makeup using my favorite Maybelline products. So this is the after. You guys want to see how to achieve this look? Just keep watching. Now first I'm gonna go ahead and prime my skin using the Master Prime. And I do have three different varieties here. First we have the Hydrate and Smooth. Then we have the Blur and Pore Minimize, as well as the Blur and Defend. Now I personally have dry skin, so I'm gonna stick with the Hydrate and Smooth variety and just spread this all over my skin. When it comes to doing my base makeup, I love using a primer because not only does it help to make my makeup last longer, but it also smooths out my skin. So using something like this is just a nice base to create a smooth canvas for the makeup to stick to. This, like I said, also is the hydrating formula, which is super lightweight. It doesn't clog my pores and it kind of conceals some of the dry patches that I tend to have on my skin. Next, it's time for foundation. So for my foundation, I'm using the Fit Me Matte and Poreless. This is designed for normal to oily skin, but I actually really like this for my dry skin because it gives me such a beautiful finish. So I use the shade 128 Warm Nude. There are 40 shades of this available, so you're bound to find something that matches your skin tone perfectly. It can sometimes be difficult to find the right undertone for me, and this one looks flawless. Now how I apply this is I just dot the foundation onto my skin with my fingertip, and then I go back in with a makeup sponge or a brush or even clean fingertips, and I just blend it in. And you can see how easy this foundation just melts into the skin and looks seamless. Like I said, I also love the beautiful finish this gives my skin. And I'd say this has about a medium coverage, which is really great because this is still a very lightweight foundation. On top of all that, this foundation is oil-free, fragrance-free, dermatologist tested, non-comedogenic, and also allergy tested. One of my all-time favorite concealers is the Fit Me Concealer. There are 18 shades of this available and I personally love to use Wheat Blay. Like I mentioned, finding my undertone can sometimes be difficult, but this color matches my skin so perfectly and underneath my eyes, it just gives me this nice brightening effect to really conceal the dark under eye circles I might be having. On top of that, it is a natural coverage and it's also super lightweight. So underneath my eyes, it doesn't sit in the fine lines. It doesn't emphasize anything I wouldn't want it to. And I can also use this as a highlighting type of concealer for the high points of my face. Now another long-standing favorite concealer of mine is the Instant Age Rewind Eraser. This is a multi-use concealer and of course it is really good at concealing the dark under eye circles, but I also love to use this concealer on points in my face that I want a little extra coverage. So for me, that's usually hyperpigmentation or any sunspots I wanna cover. This does instantly refresh the skin with Goji Berry and Haloxo, and this also is available in 18 shades similar to the Fit Me Concealer. Despite having dry skin, I always like to set my foundation and I typically point set, meaning I set only select areas of my face. Typically this is the under eye area or areas of my face that tend to move like around my mouth, around the smile lines. This is the Fit Me Loose Powder and this is a mineral based formula which is gonna not only help control shine, but it's also going to smooth out the skin's texture as well. This one is available in eight shades, so again, you can find the shade that will fit best on your skin. And I personally use the shade light medium. It might look like I'm applying a lot of powder, but I'm actually applying a very light layer. I typically just lightly dab my brush into the powder and apply it. And as you can see, a little bit goes a long way. To add a little color and glow back into my skin, I'm obsessed with these Cheeky Sheer Gel Cream Blushes. I'm using the shade 25 Fuchsia Spark and I usually just apply these with my fingers. I find that the warmth from my fingers just really melts the color in. And I also like to add a little bit to the tip of my nose. Finally, I'm going to set everything with the Lasting Fix Makeup Setting Spray. This sets your makeup for up to 16 hours. And I like doing this at the end of my routine because not only does it help my makeup last longer, but it also just melts everything together once again. And a little tip that I like to do is I love to take a makeup sponge and just press it into the makeup. In doing this, you just further ensure that your makeup is going to last either all day or all night. So this is the finished look. I hope you guys enjoyed hanging out with me while I did my base makeup using my favorite Maybelline products. And I will see you guys in the next video. Bye guys.